Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Tic-Tac-Toe in ActionScript 3. You begin by opening a new ActionScript 3.0 document, then proceed by changing the dimensions to 300 by 400 pixels. We will begin by creating a square. Make sure to change its transparency from 100% to 0%. Then change its width to 100 pixels and the height to 100 pixels as well. Convert the box you just created into a movie clip. Then double click on your new movie clip and add two new keyframes and name the layer BG. Then create a new layer and add another two new keyframes. On the second layer, add an X to the second keyframe and an O to the third keyframe. This will become important later on when we add the action script. Next, exit out of the movie clip and go to the stage. We will be making nine copies of the movie clip so that we can arrange them into the shape of a tic-tac-toe board. Here I am making a simple UI for the scoreboard. It will keep track of how many times you win. Now, go to the timeline and add a new layer. Call this layer text. Now get out the text tool. We're going to be finishing up the rest of the UI. First make a box and type in me colon. We copy the box and paste and then type in AI. Then we will create another box. This will contain whether you win, lose, or tie. This will finish up the rest of the UI for now and all is left is the action script. Now just create one more layer. This is going to contain all our action scripts. So we're going to call it actions. Now we're going to create the instance names. Click on me and give it the instance name of me. Then click on the AI box and give it the instance name of AI. Then click on the third box you created and give it an instance name of info. Now we are going to have the instance names for each of our nine movie clips. We're going to call them A through I. Next, click F9 to go into your actions panel. We are going to name all our variables. Variable one is going to be called box array. This will let us easily access our movie clips later on. Variable two is going to be called my turn. This will simply tell you if it is a player's turn. The next variable is going to be called winner. This will tell you if there has been a winner. Variable four will tell you what the player score is and variable five will tell you what the computer score is. Variable six will tell you how many turns have been executed. Here I will be making a for loop. This will only be triggered once when you start the game. This will provide a lot of fundamentals that are needed to make the movie clips function properly. This is a function. I will be calling it click box. This function will be triggered every time you click one of the movie clips. For those of you who don't know, the exclamation mark means not equal to, the two ampersand signs means and, and the equal equal equals equal to. Basically what I just did there is to find what will happen when there is a tie. Now I'm going to define what happens when there is a winner. Basically, when you win, 
the game will reset and all the values will turn to what they were originally were before you started the game. Here I'll be typing all the code for the functionality of the AI or the computer. Basically for this tutorial, I have made the computer select a random movie clip out of the nine that we have made. This next function right here will check if either of the players has gotten three in a row. So basically here I'm going to type that if you have three in a row, your score will get one point added to it. This part right here will see if the computer got three in a row rather than yourself. Now we just have one last function to create. It has to do with the function we called earlier. This function will generate a random number for us to use After you're done creating that function, you are basically ready to try the game out. Press Ctrl and Enter at the same time to test your game. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, post them below and I will do my best to answer them. Also, if you want to see more tutorials later on, feel free to subscribe. In addition, if you want the FLA file for this game, look at the link below.